Well, um, you know, I think that in the United States, for the reasons I stated, uh, there is a tradition of craft that's coming back. Uh, there's, uh, you know, there was a, um, uh, a movement for things that were made by machines. And of course, we have machines at Gerardi. But tradition is really in the things that are hand wrought. Uh, we can do wonderful things like this, this mock-up that, that's outside this window. That was all put together with machines and, and, and the heavy work was done by machine, but the really fine work was still done by hand. And the finishing is done by hand and the edging is done by hand. And you know, it's, it's that, that something, when something is made by the human hand, and uh, it, you know, who, who was very, um, there was a, a, a letter that uh, St. John Paul wrote when he was still Pope. And he wrote a letter to artists. And the letter said that artists and craftsmen are part of continuing the procreation of God's creation, okay? God, gave men and women hands, gave them minds and an eye. And so by using those and the hands and the craft is a continuation of God's creation. And when you're doing something like a church, you want handmade products because it really is symbolic of the creation. It's very interesting, you know, once again, there's a lot of political, uh, I would say anxiety about immigration. And immigration in the United States is what built the United States, okay, literally. Uh, what built the United States were the Irish and the British carpenters and the Italian masons, the bricklayers, the stone cutters, and other people, you know, other immigrants had their contributions, but who built the United States were immigrants, except the, the, uh, the one that we always forget about, the people who erected the steel were the Native Americans. They were the American, they were the ones who would climb the steel without any safety nets and they built the skyscrapers. But the Masons were Italian and the carpenters were Irish and British. And, 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 uh, and the Germans, of course, had other skills as well they made beer. <laughs> so, and, and, and what I'm really driving at here is as the immigrants uh, assimilated and as they became uh, settled in and educated their children and their children went to school, they, all of a sudden they weren't marble workers anymore. They weren't, they weren't mosaic layers. They weren't doing gilding on the ceiling. They weren't decorative painters. Uh, they weren't carpenters. They weren't bricklayers. Uh, uh, some of the smart ones became plumbers and electricians. They're the ones who really made the money. And, but the other ones went to college and they became lawyers and they became doctors and they became teachers and they became professore. And, and, every, and so no more masons, no more bricklayers, no more carpenters. Where do you have to go to get really good masonry? Where do you have to go to get great uh, stone cutters? You have to come back to Italy because uh, people and families like the Gerardis taught their children maybe not the same thing. Now, uh, Franco still cut stone with his hands, okay? Uh, Giuliano cut stone out of the mountain with machines, okay? And uh, Daniele figures out how to put it together and how the factory runs. Anna knows the design, okay? And Stefano is, you know, the maestro who makes it all work with the money. So, you know, but it's still in the masonry business and it enables us in the United States now, when we wanna do a fine church like the uh, Cathedral of St. John the Baptist, you can't get stone cut in the United States like this in very, very few places. You can in very few places, but they're very few. I can go to Verona, 
I can come to Carpenedolo, okay? I can go to uh, 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 Massa, of course. But there are many places in Italy to get great cut stone. But the reason I like working with Gerardi is because uh, the Gerardi family, I mean, I, I always say this, Franco designed his family for his business. He made sure he had an engineer, a financial guy, a geologist, and a designer. An instant business. And that's the reason why I like coming here, because I can always talk to somebody to get an answer. I never have a phone call that says, um, I'll have to get back to you, because they have to ask somebody else. They have all the answers here. <laughs>